Hey guys, welcome back to Newsbeat. I'm Dylan Alvarez. Now, last night the eSports LSU Rocket League team won their first round, uh, uh, their first playoff matchup as they raced towards the national championship. And they're off to a very strong start. The LSU Purple swept their Southern Division opponents, Kennesaw State, in three straight matches. The Tigers remain unbeaten on the season, sitting at 8-0. Now, this was their first playoff match of this season, and with one more win, they can claim the number one seed in the Southern Division, moving one step closer towards Nationals. The Tigers entered the match as overwhelming favorites, but struggled in the first two, scraping by with wins. But on the third one, they asserted their dominance, taking a 4 to nothing victory. Moving on from nationally, one, one nationally ranked team to another, let's talk about LSU basketball. In the first AP poll this season, the Tigers are ranked number 23, thanks in part to an incredible and maybe controversial recruiting class put together by Will Wade. The Tigers had the third best recruiting class in the country heading into this season. Now, the Tigers acquired the likes of Naz Reed, Javante Smart, and Emmett Williams, all high-level recruits. Adding to that are improved vets like Tremont Waters and Skylar Mays. And the national preseason ranking is just a reflection of how much the Tigers have improved in just over a year. The players and Coach Wade aren't putting any stock into that. They're just focused on one thing, their end goal, a national title. We know where we're going to go, so the rankings don't really matter because when you step inside the lines, rankings can't help you in any way. So we just got to go out and play and not really worry about expectations or rankings, as, as they call them. You know, it's not where you, uh, you know, it's not where you start, it's where you end, and so... Just because there's, you know, a number next to you doesn't mean anything except you probably got a little bit of target on your back as we start the season here. So we don't, um, you know, we're not going to concern ourselves with that or worry about that. It's um, it's about how you produce and what you do moving forward. It's not necessarily about where you start. It's where you're going. The Tigers begin their season in just a few weeks on November 6th when they take on the Southeastern Louisiana Lions inside of the PMAC. Moving off the court and onto the field, we're just over a week away from what I'd say is the biggest game to take place, yes, in this college football season. I'm talking about LSU versus Alabama. It'll be a matchup between two top five teams. The Tigers are number four and the Tide are number one. And deservedly so, the Tide are crushing their opponents so far this season. They're averaging an astonishing 54 points per game, all the while holding opponents to just or 16 rather and their star quarterback Tua has yet to play in the fourth quarter of any game this season add that to his remarkable season under center and the Tigers face an extremely tough matchup but the same could be said for the Tide they have yet to play anyone even close to the caliber of the Tigers and I seriously doubt the Tide are going to be putting up 54 points against that dominant LSU defense and one thing's clear the Tigers aren't intimidated by their Alabama counterparts they're excited to go against the Tide they're, they're a great football team. You know, I can't wait to play those guys. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Um, they're physical. They're talented. Uh, they check off every every box in the category. So uh, they're a great football team, and uh, it's going to be a, a great matchup. Growing up, college football fan, you you watch Alabama and LSU every time. Um, but it's it's another football game. Um, it's similar to my approach for kicking. I mean. Um, each kick is the exact same, so this game's not going to be necessarily a whole lot different. Um, it's just kind of a, another opponent, and that's the way that we need to treat it. The game kicks off ne next Saturday at 7. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the game and have live coverage of it, so make sure to follow us on our social media page at TigerTV underscore sports. Reporting, reporting for Tiger TV Sports, I'm Dylan Alvarez.